Thanks for tuning in. I'm Cyrus Rastian, and I'd like to share our work on the first explainable clustering algorithm that has provable guarantees and works well in practice. This is joint work with Sanjoy Dasgupta, Nave Frost, and Mikhail Mashkovitz. Algorithms are used everywhere, healthcare, resume screening, credit loans, and our trust of these algorithms hinges on their transparency. Imagine you receive an email. You've been selected for the vaccine. You tell your friend and they ask, why you? Why not me? Puzzled, you respond, um, I'm not sure. They didn't say. The email would have been more informative if it said that it was because you were at least 60 years old or your body mass index is at least 25. You would be happy about the vaccine and you could answer your friend. It's possible to add explanations to many algorithms, and one way to do so is to use a decision tree. Each node contains a simple binary decision, and the leaves correspond to possible outcomes. To see an example, these points represent people organized by age and BMI. Let's split them into groups with the decision tree. First, separate the people who are at least 60, then split off those with a high BMI. This forms three groups, and for each point, we have a transparent explanation of why it ended up in its group, which helps build trust in the algorithm. The catch is that it's not always easy to tell when we can use a decision tree without sacrificing the accuracy of a more complex but more opaque method. In other words, a key challenge is to understand the price of explainability. Grouping points is known as clustering, and there are many ways to evaluate a clustering algorithm. We focus on the k-means cost, and we provide an algorithm that clusters with the decision tree. We start with a reference clustering using any off-the-shelf k-means algorithm. This produces k-clusters with k-reference centers. Then we iteratively build the tree from the top down. Each time we add a node, we choose the best feature and best threshold so that the number of mistakes is minimized. The mistakes marked in red are the points that are split away from their reference center. As we go along, we recursively refine the clustering, and we stop when there are k leaves with one cluster per leaf. We prove that the k-means cost of our tree-based clustering is at most k-squared times the cost of the best possible clustering. This means that the price of explainability only depends on the number of clusters, but not on the total number of points or the dimensionality of the data. Pretty cool, right? Our algorithm also works well in practice. Our code is online and you can try it out for yourself. We also have an option to use more leaves, which can make the explanations more complicated, but using a larger tree also leads to a lower clustering cost on many datasets. If you want more information, you can check out our papers or our blog posts on the UCSD machine learning blog. We describe the main ideas and we also explain why we need a new algorithm for this problem and why we couldn't just use an off-the-shelf decision tree method. Thanks for listening, and please reach out if you have any questions.